Welcome back to our coverage of the 2019 Poker Stars and Monte Carlo Casino EPT. I'm here with a very familiar face, Patrick Antonius, who just lent his name to a poker festival in Estonia, the Patrick Antonius Poker Challenge. Tell me a little bit about how you decided to throw your own poker festival. Um, first of all, nice to be here in Monaco. I wish we could always have the event here. My favorite place for EPT. Do you also, live here? I live here, so it's nice to play. Also Barcelona, nice, obviously. Uh, um, what comes to my event, it was uh, the first event, like you know. And I'm very happy with the results because uh, there's a lot of things that I want to introduce to the poker world. Uh, to make the game better. We have an amazing game, but you know, still we can adjust some little things to make it much better. And these, I have, I have very strong uh, opinions, my view. Okay, so like what? What can we do to make it better? Well, I, uh, first, first thing what I want to change is the, the pace of the game, the game flow. And uh, we just tried this, uh, we tried we tried this new advanced shot clock in, in our event on the two high rollers, and I'm very pleased with the results. What is it? How is it different than a normal shot clock? Well, the normal shot clock is 30 seconds now, which sounds at the beginning of the players were thinking, okay, now it's only 30 seconds time to act, but actually the game got really slow because of it. Because now the players, they feel like they can take 30 seconds on every decision, and they're taking that 20 seconds and then they're checking and so on and it's painfully slow and I think we can all agree that it's been hurting uh, the game. Especially because, high rollers. Yeah, I mean we used to play faster and uh, I'm not trying to bring anything back from the how the poker used to be. Definitely not gonna try to live in the past. I want to change the game to better for the future. And um, But this was really good success. Uh, we played about probably twice as many hands as normally because the game flow is so good. So is your shot clock less than 30 seconds? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. It's 10 seconds pre-flop oh. pre yeah. and it's 20 seconds after the flop. But uh, the thing is that you get more time banks. So now you're going to use the time banks when you really need. And I was actually the only one player that in the 10K I made it to the heads up and I won it. And I had only one time bank left out of the 15. And it would have been a lot of pressure if I would have ran out of it because in pre-flop you're going to make big decisions also. And Especially heads up. Yeah, exactly. So, so But it, this can also bring uh, extra strategy to the game when somebody is running low on time banks or even out. You can make them to make decisions very quickly and it can be an extra extra thing that might be good for poker. But in general, you know, it's, it's more enjoyable for the players that they can play more. Mm -hmm. You know, you play more hands, period. and. Uh, also, I think there's going to be more, you know, unorthodox plays, like plays that are not, you know... GTO. They're not, like, uh, thought through, like, completely, you know, mathematically everything calculated with the stack sizes. You know, this is... Uh, but it's still going to favor the better players, because the better players are going to make less mistakes in a shorter period of time. And the thing is that it's just the same for everyone, the rules. And, uh, but I think this is going to be something that I see it in the future, that um, we're going to use this faster version of the shot clock. So are you planning on having any other events to use this shot clock again? Yeah, we're planning on having some events, but we don't know when the next event is. We want to pick a nice location at, at a good time where people would like to play. And um, the good thing is that I can try these new things in my events. We're going to try next event a couple new things. Okay, like what? What, what else are you going to try? I think we're going to try to play a cast game with the shot clock. And with the, there's a problem with the cast game with the shot clock because uh, now if you had time banks and now you run out of time banks, you're just going to quit because it's a cast right. game. But we want, might make something like um, that you can once in a hand use you know you have one time bank per hand to use for example for example or something like this but that now there's no you know five minute tanking on a river for decision or so on and and um, it's important that we keep all the elements that we have in poker like all the good things that we have you know you have to be able to socialize and talk and 
all these things, but the game flow needs to be better. And uh, I can just already bring it up now, but I really want to ban all these ridiculous uh, hoodies and so on for the future. Like, even if you're wearing a T-shirt, like I think in my events in the future, you know, you if you just do this, it's gonna be a penalty. I and, love uh, that. And I, I just think it's you know it's same rules for everyone, and why not? I mean, again, it's same rules for everyone. So um, if you cannot control your pulse, if you really cannot hide your tails, I mean, you can put your hand here or something, or who knows, but... Uh, but just work on it. It's part of the game. People learn the math. They should learn how to control their tails and their yeah. eyes and their pulse exactly. and stuff like that. It's, it's part of, exactly. It's part of the game. So light reads are part of the game, and um, you can still wear hoodies and so on, but you just cannot cover yourself. Um, it's just ridiculous. No scarves and... I don't know what to think of sunglasses. I, I think we should uh, also ban them, but I have more opinion of. I don't want to see. I don't want to look at a TV stream, live stream on a final table, and somebody has stick the hoodie up to the nose. And uh, and I want to also see the game that it's it's a bit quicker pace. But, well, you had a really but, fun, chatty, quick-paced cash game that it was 25, 25, or 25, 50 PLO. At your um, festival? It was actually, it was, um, I forgot that. It was 5,100 at least with the ante. I oh, think yeah, they were right. Then you did a big buy 100, 100, 200 with the ante or 5,100 with the ante. And uh, yeah, it was entertaining, no? That was great. That You should do a lot more. That was fun. <laughs> Jungle Man, always entertaining. Yeah, I mean, this is just another thing, like uh, entertainment part. But, uh, you know, I don't even ask poker to be more entertaining in general. Like... I just want that the players would enjoy playing more. So when you play, there's more action when you play faster with the shot clock. And uh, you know, with this, there's, we're gonna bring more popularity to the game, I believe. And uh, you know, we'll see, but uh, I'm, I'm very happy that uh, the shot clock was very, very nice uh, um, experience for all of us. Well, I also love the idea of a dress code, essentially, for the next tournament. I need to get you back. You're starting again yeah. in the main event. No dress code, but uh, no dress code, but you're not allowed to just uh, cover yourself, your paws, everything. I think this is this is something that, on my events, if I can decide, yeah. you know. You make the rules. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> One of the perks of hosting your own events. Well, I'm going to get you back to your table. You got sixth in the main event last year. Does it give you more pressure to go a little deeper this year or more motivation? No pressure, but obviously, you know, when you have a good experience, it's, it kind of helps the mindset that, okay, it's, uh, I like to play here. It was very nice main event last year. I have a nice table, chatty table, a lot of action now. and Fun to play, fun to play. This is all about what is poker all about. Huh? Keeping the game fun, Patrick Antonius. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you.